Welcome back everyone. For those of you who are new to our channel, I'll fill you in a little bit. So we bought this boat for a dollar about a month ago so that we could live out our dreams of living on the ocean and fighting for its protection. But first we need to do a few things to her. We need to rip out her rot and we need to turn this pretty basic catamaran into a functioning home and a seaworthy vessel. All aboard the restoration of our one dollar boat. This is not the most beautiful video we are going to upload. This is a video documenting the time and the hard work that we spent on the slipway. It was dirty work um, and it's not a beautiful video, but if you're interested to see <laughs> you can't just sit here and film me. I'll do nothing. in this deck for too long and it's finally time to oil it. I'm so excited. Wow. Got the paintbrush I mean, we and the started, oil. We started sanding on day one and it's what, day seven now? Oh, this is going to be a good moment. This was a huge test for us, especially coming from an environmentally conscious background. We had to step back and surrender. When it comes to boats and boat repairs, there is plastic involved. There is chemicals in the paints, and there certainly are some nasties in the fiberglassing to say the least. But it was all a part of the bigger picture, you see, because at the end of the day, we are recycling this boat. We are making sure that this boat was not another boat that was going to be left to sit and rot in the ocean. 
we have transformed this boat so that What have we just done, babe? the full restoration of our beautiful boat Pearl and let's just say we've done a lot in nine days. A lot, a lot has been done and a lot has been learnt as well. It's been a massive process. We found eight different patches of rot. Um, initially we actually just got pulled out of the slipway, just fixed 
the bow of the boat. We thought it was going to be on both sides. Yeah. But it ended up, thankfully, just being on this side because yeah. that allowed us more time and money to spend on all of the rest of the rot that we found. Yeah, like the boat may have costed one dollar, but this experience up on the hard stand is no. definitely something that's not costing a dollar. No. So yeah, this is the biggest patch of rot that we had to rip out. Um, the process is isolating the rot, um, finding out where it is in the beginning. So you have to tap it with a hard object, and what you want to hear is like a tight a clang, like a tight clang, yeah. not like a loose drum. A rotten wood sounds like a loose drum, like doof, doof, instead of boom, boom. It's got like a very different sound. So you isolate where the rot is by tapping it in the areas. Mainly it's around anywhere where the water could have came into the hull. In this case, the water got into the hull through the bolts because it never got sealed properly. So we ripped this whole thing out. Um, chiseled it all back to uh, nice clean wood that wasn't rotten at all. We had to rip out some stringers. Stringers are like the rib cage of the hull that you put your, your uh, ply over, your marine ply. So we stripped it back, we put new stringers in, and we needed to have something to drill the new ply into. So we created um, backing boards. Uh, you attach those to different parts of the boat where there aren't stringers that you can't drill into. And then we coated the marine ply in epoxy resin um, to seal the wood to stop any water from getting in there. Then you create a epoxy glue uh, called cabasil. So you put that into the resin mix, the same as what you uh, coat the ply in to seal the wood. And you make a glue mix, you put that in behind the ply before you put the sheet on. And then you apply the sheet to it and drill into all the different pieces of wood that you uh, either put in there as the backing boards or the stringers that are already there. So you have to line and mark out where they are so you can drill into it to press it up against um, wood uh, to create a nice seal. Uh, and then after that, you coat it in another layer of um, epoxy resin uh, and then you get your fiberglass sheets ready uh, to lay over the top. And that's the stage we're at now. Come have a look at all the spots that we've, so? we've patched up. But all here was pretty good. We found a few nice big patches. Not actually, this is our smallest patch, yeah. but it's actually a Really, the patch. patch is only like this big? When you're laying fiberglass onto a surface, um, it doesn't stick to the anti-foul. So you have to grind back the anti-foul 150 mils around the space that you want a fiberglass to get the traction so it doesn't slide off. Yeah, and we got around to the back of the boat and just discovered so much rot. It was rot city. We ended up, because Tyler's just such a legend, we just cut it all out and we just cut it out and we we're just going to do it. Did it so, all at once, really. Um, so yeah, from from here to here, all the way down, and it chases all the way back down to here. Um, so that was a massive, massive patch that needed fixing. And then, there's more, don't you worry. Um, over, here. over here we had another big patch of rock that we had to cut out. Right above our sink outlet. Tap, tap the skeg. Skeg protects the rudder from anything you hit when you're out in the ocean. So instead of anything coming along underneath here and knocking out your rudder and you lose steering, it hits this instead. So it takes all your impact and um, it was compost. I squeezed water out of my timber in the boat and it was just dripping wet. Um, and yeah. this is it. This is the last patch. It's Pretty been big patch. Nine days of, you know, what, ten, ten hour days? Um, ten to eleven hour days every day. Nine days so far. Looks like we've got another four days on the hard. And all coming together. We can paint this off soon because the boat is no longer named Tunnel Vision. The boat is named Pearl. Yeah, she's gonna come up beautiful like a freshly discovered Pearl. Yeah, I think it's like her relaunch. She's being reborn, has a new soul. Yeah, she's gonna yeah, she's gonna yeah. have a new chapter after this. Yeah. We recycled the boat. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>